Hello guys, I hope you're well. Welcome to a sustainable fashion challenge video. Wish me luck. This week I'm gonna pick five items from my wardrobe which are my five least worn items and challenge myself to style one of those items every single day, Monday to Friday next week. Today is Sunday, I've just been through my wardrobe I've picked out five things which I definitely don't wear enough and let's see if I can wear them more this week and I'm hoping that by challenging myself to wear a different one every single day it inspires me to shop my own wardrobe and wear things that I already own rather than buying new items which of course is a much more sustainable choice when it comes to fashion. So let me show you the items that I picked out. Item number one is these Adidas red trainers, which I absolutely love, but I just don't wear them enough, mainly because they're so red. So, fingers crossed, I can find a way to style these this week. Item number two is this absolutely gorgeous red Prada handbag. I bought this secondhand on Vestiaire Collective, and when I first got it, maybe 18 months ago, I wore it a lot more than I do now. I've kind of started shifting towards other handbags in my collection, but this guy is beautiful and cost me a lot of money, so I need to wear him more, so he is in the challenge. Item number three is this Karen Millen skirt, which is a little bit creased, I need to give it a bit of an iron before I wear it. It's like a mustard skirt with a brown belt. I have worn this a grand total of one time so this skirt <laughs> definitely needs some more action in my wardrobe item number four is this absolutely beautiful very bright yellow hugo boss jumper it's so well made it's super chunky knit. it is one of my favorite items i used to wear it absolutely to death and i kind of fell out of love with it so i'm going to try and reignite that fire reignite that love and style it in my wardrobe this week oh god i'm sorry about this guys item number five has never been worn as you can see the tag is still on it this is a top which i got from and other stories it is blue it's a wraparound top the print is beautiful but for some reason i just haven't worn it which i know i know that's so bad that's so unsustainable so <laughs> i'm gonna definitely make sure that this top gets somewhere this week and hopefully inspires me to wear it more and more into the future and that is item number five so those are the five least worn items in my wardrobe that I'm challenging myself to wear this week and I'll check in with you guys tomorrow on Monday to see how I style the first one. Wish me luck! Okay, day one of wearing my least worn items and as you can see today I've chosen to style the blue top from And Other Stories. So I've just worn it with some jeans which are super old Topshop mom jeans, my staple Adidas Superstars, a very very maybe three-year-old leather jacket from All Saints and then my second-hand Louis Vuitton handbag. So that's the vibe I'm going for today. I'm just wearing this to go for dinner with my friend Rihanna and uh, yeah, I'm actually really enjoying this top. The only thing is that it's a little bit booby, you know, a little bit of gapage around the boob. But oh, what's that button? Oh, there we go. Sorted. Absolutely sorted. So yeah, that is today's outfit. I'm actually really, really enjoying this top right now. So I'm feeling very inspired to wear it again. All right, day two, it is Tuesday. And today I've chosen to style my secondhand Prada handbag. And this is what I've popped it with. I've gone for my secondhand Stella McCartney boots, my Topshop mom jeans that I wore yesterday. This is an old ASOS red striped t-shirt. And then again, the All Saints leather jacket that I wore yesterday as well. So this is my outfit today. I've got no makeup on, messy hair, keeping it quite casual, keeping it quite relaxed, but also kind of dressing it up at the same time with a cheeky little heeled boot. But yeah, I really, really like this outfit and also loving the color of this bag and definitely gonna try and wear it more as I go into autumn winter. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you like this outfit? Let me know. Hello, it's Wednesday and today I'm styling my underloved Karen Millen skirt and I'm really, really enjoying this outfit. So I've teamed it with this jumper from Topshop, which you might have seen in my previous styling video where I styled one leopard print dress three ways and I used this jumper to turn the dress into a skirt. So yeah, I'm wearing that again but today with an actual skirt. And then I also have my Mulberry handbag. I've had this since my 18th birthday, which makes it officially over nine years old and still a much loved staple handbag in my wardrobe. I'm gonna keep hold of this for as long as I physically can. So yeah, I've got my Mulberry Bayswater handbag. And then of course, 
my Adidas Superstar trainers. So that is my outfit for this evening. I'm heading out for dinner with my friend Lucy and I thought I'd go kind of dressed up, but dressed down. Casual, but fancy, you know? A little bit of a mix. Let me know what you guys think of this outfit. I'm actually really enjoying this skirt, you know? I do wonder, what else could I wear this skirt with? Let me know in the comments down below because I feel like I'm quite limited in terms of what I can pair it with. It mostly feels like it goes well with white tops and white jumpers and maybe cream. But what other colours could I wear this with? It feels like quite a, a tough colour to pair with. So let me know what you think about what else I can wear my top half with this skirt. But for now, I'm really enjoying it combined with white and brown, you know? All right, it's Thursday, day four of wearing my least worn items. And today I've chosen to style my yellow Hugo Boss jumper. And because it's such a bright item, I thought I would just pair it with an all black outfit. So what I've gone for today is these Topshop mom jeans, which I have rolled up. So they're like exposing a little bit of ankle. Then I have my free people boots. You might remember these from last winter, if you follow me on Instagram, because I wore them to death last winter. Absolutely obsessed with them. And also they're vegan, which is a bonus. And then I have my second hand Givenchy handbag, which I think I would just hold by my side. But then if I got a little bit tired, I could always throw it over the shoulder. And yeah, this is the vibe for today's outfit. Baggy, jumper, mom jeans, biker boots. What do you think? I mean, this is like a bit of a basic outfit. It's a bit bland. I'm just going for meetings, but I don't know. It's comfortable. My jeans are soft. My jumper's cozy. My boots, I can walk long distances in them. And my bag, I can fit my laptop in. So it's a very practical outfit. And yeah, I'm really enjoying the pop of colour of this jumper. Hello, hello. It's the final day of the styling challenge. And this is my outfit. So as you can see, I have styled my red Adidas trainers. And I'm immediately thinking, how on earth have I not worn these more? They are the most comfortable trainers I think I own. They literally feel like clouds on my feet. So yes, styling my horrendously underworn Adidas trainers with some Topshop tall ripped jeans, which I have rolled up at the bottom a little bit. My All Saints jacket, which I wear all the time. I've had this thing for years. I think I got it for Christmas, like maybe three years ago, two years ago, and it is a staple in my wardrobe. Then a Calvin Klein white crop t-shirt. To be fair, this is a very underworn item in my wardrobe, so I'm very glad that I'm wearing this today as well. And then, actually, handbag wise, I am going for my Louis Vuitton. This bag is not a bag that I would like to style with this outfit. I wish I had a small black bag, but I just don't own a small black bag. This is the only small bag I own. So I'm gonna have to go with this today, but I think I'll probably style it like thrown over and just like on the back of me you know just like that and yeah that is my outfit today this is my last outfit of the challenge let me know down below which outfit you like the most and if you would style things in any other ways because i'd love to hear your guys's feedback and thought but yeah i'm really enjoying today's outfit and i am loving these shoes Yes, yes, yes. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching me style the least worn items in my wardrobe. It's been a massive learning experience for me and actually really, really, really enjoyable. I've had to force myself to style items which obviously I wouldn't usually reach for straight away. I have like my comfort zone of things I like to wear which tends to be centered around all being black. So this week I feel like I've really stepped out my comfort zone worn new and different things and I've thoroughly enjoyed it and I've actually found myself trying to pick out other items in my outfits which I don't wear enough so not just the item that I was supposed to style for example with this outfit I could have easily worn my white stay well swim t-shirt which I wear all the time and I thought to myself actually no wear your white Calvin Klein one that you hardly wear because you need to give it some action and it's so important to dig through your wardrobe and find things that you don't wear very often and just wear them again and again and again try and cycle them into your like outfit routine and the things that you wear on a regular basis because even just wearing something an extra five or ten times dramatically reduces its carbon footprint and its impact on the planet. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did by giving it a cheeky thumbs up. I've never done anything like this before. I'm dipping my toe into the sustainable styling and fashion world and I'm actually really, really enjoying it. So yeah, have an amazing day, guys. Give it a comment. 
give it a like, click subscribe. I don't just talk about sustainable fashion. I also talk about food and fitness most of the time, but I'm just dipping my toe into this new area and thoroughly enjoying it. All right, guys, love you loads. Have an awesome day.